Melbourne's fortnight of transport hell is underway with upgrade work shutting down three train lines. A huge effort is being made to lessen the pain, although more is on the way. Day one of Melbourne's two-week construction blitz down and the delays have already set in. It's an added an uh, extra 75 minutes onto my journey, but that's OK. What are you going to do? You have to put up with it. There's no pain without gain. What we're trying to do is build a better rail and road system to make it easier for people to get around. Buses are replacing trains for the Cranbourne, Pakenham, Frankston and Gippsland lines, allowing for major power and signalling upgrades to Caulfield Junction and level crossing removal works. Today we are seeing the largest number of road replacement buses that we've ever run in Melbourne. They're working very smoothly so far and we'll continue to make sure that we run those services as well as we possibly can. But while the South Morang, Hurstbridge and Geelong lines will also see delays, it's not just public transport users who will be hit. Today, resurfacing works began on the Monash Freeway, closing inbound lanes between the South Gippsland Freeway and East Link. Throughout the month, there'll also be closures on Ligon Street, Flinders Lane and the M80 Ring Road. One of the closures expected to cause major headaches is here on Hoddle Street. From this Sunday, it will be completely shut, with motorists being warned to allow up to an hour of extra travel time. It was either do it over these eight days or have a three-month rolling program of road closures. A full list of road closures is on the Vic Roads website. Estelle Greypink, 7 News.